Turn example five. Again, we see that my absolute value is not by itself. I can tell because if we look, if we cover up everything that's inside the absolute value, there's still this hanging outside. So we are going to have to take care of that. So how do we take care of that? Well, we do the opposite. And because I'm adding a negative one to both sides, I need to do the opposite. So I'm going to do the opposite of one, and I'm going to add one to both sides. So we get the absolute value of 4n plus 2 is equal to 29 plus 1 is 30. Now, we're going to split into two equations because that's what the absolute value bars imply. We need to split into two equations. I'm going to make this positive and I'm going to make this negative. So we're going to keep 4n plus 2. 4n plus 2. I'm going to keep 4n plus 2. But I'm going to change the 30. It's going to stay 30, but I'm going to change it over here to negative 30. And now we're going to solve. So we're going to solve for n. So I got to get rid of 4 and 2. 2 is the constant, so I'm going to minus 2 to both sides. So I get 4n is equal to 28. Then we divide by 4, so we get n equals 7. So the first one is solved. So now I'm going to come over here to the second one. I'm going to minus 2, minus 2. We get 4n is equal to Negative 30 minus 2 is negative 32. We're going to keep solving. I'm going to divide by 4, divide by 4. You notice how I keep doing the same thing over and over again? So we get n is equal to negative 8. So my answer is n is equal to negative 8 and 7.